So let's go. Let's use the time before uh, we have this uh, interesting demo pod available. On this part of the booth, uh, we don't show any products, but we show the STM32 Cube ecosystem. So you know, today developing with the microcontroller, microprocessor, you want to start first selecting the right component for your application. Then you want to start to integrate quickly the low-level drivers so to make the configuration of the, of the peripheries. And this is what we do with our tool STM32 Cubemix. So, code exactly. So, in the development flow of a software select, of a software, let's say development, first you do the configuration of the basic peripheries. The Cubemix will configure a project and generate for you the basic project on which you can start to build your own application. Then, of course, how and where to build the application and the debugging. For that, we have a list of several Cube and IR and Kyle IDEs. So you as a customer can select between. The advantage of STM32 Cube ID is that it is free of charge, supporting all the STM32s in one shot. It has also some new features for free Artos uh, debug awareness, and we are also adding now the Azure Artos, so the FedEx uh, debug awareness, which is very important when you are working with a real-time operating system to understand which task is running, which one is suspended. So it helps a lot in the debugging of your system. So if we go from cube generation to cube, uh, sorry, code generation to code development and debugging. As developing an application, at some point, maybe you want to monitor what's happening in your software. And for that, we have a STM32 cube monitor. So it's part of the cube ecosystem. And that one is based on the Node-RED technology. And with this one, you can you can create uh, really a flowchart, graphs, buttons to control in in intrusive way uh, your software, read uh, variables, read content of registers, to to show them in a graphical and nice way. And all this, the great benefit is it is fully free of charge, available, and always up to date with our latest products. So that's uh, about the ecosystem. Maybe one little last thing, just before embedded board, we have released. STM32 MCU developer zone. So what it is, maybe you are wondering, basically with this STU MCU developer zone, what we try to, to do is to bring into one single entry point all the information about the products, software, middleware, tools, partners that you may need to know when starting to work with STM32. So it's like entry point in intersection, you can continue your information and data research to be able to develop with STM32. It's a <coughs> very big task to be community manager and developers. <coughs> of course, the community itself is a uh, is very important part today of, uh, of the support and development flow. On ST side, we, we do have extensive community. We try to moderate and answer ourselves or within the community to all the questions of our developers and users. Let's see if uh, our colleague is available. I, I got one question here in the chat, just in case uh, if that's okay. Uh, please ask ST on their plans to include dedicated AI accelerators in the S MCU. Yes, uh, indeed. So maybe you missed the beginning of, of our shooting, but yeah, at the time we, we were really looking after our solutions for artificial intelligence. So uh, in terms of hardware accelerators, uh, today we don't have any dedicated one, but be sure on our portfolio we do have uh, STM32 with dedicated accelerators for doing the artificial intelligence uh, neural net for computation. So more and more stuff is happening in that field. Definitely. We don't sleep, we, we go on, we carry on. So stay tuned for new products. I'm sure we will be able to introduce you more in the coming weeks and months. How uh, do people get involved? Become developers, find a company that's hired them, uh, get to be an expert. We have everything for everything in that, that stuff, right? But I wouldn't be become uh, absolutely true if I would say I, we have everything. There's always something missing and something we can add more. But yeah, to start with STM32, today you find a lot of tools, samples, libraries free of charge on our web. You find a lot of training materials. Uh, we have a plenty of YouTube uh, educational programs. Uh, 
Uh, the one I could recommend is STM32 learning page on our ST.com. We find a lot of links to YouTube, so-called MOOC uh, sessions, where we start from the basics of what is microcontroller, how to select the right one, how to run the first code generation, how to start debugging, monitoring your application. Uh, we have dedicated uh, videos and training programs on security, so how to implement the secure boot, how to implement um, uh, graphics, HMIs and GUIs. So really, I'm quite confident to say today we have a lot of things available for you. So if someone wants to start developing, you should be able to find a lot. But at the end, um, in the same time, uh, true that um, we still have a lot of things to do. And yeah, give us your feedback, uh, let us know your needs, and we will be very grateful for those and try to bring new things, products, solutions, trainings, materials for you. And even more discovery boards, more, you know, more to play with, right? Definitely. So, uh, yes, you may remember that in past we were always uh, supporting the community and developers with boards. We do it again this year, but in not such a big scale because of the current market situation.